Yo, what's the word? It's your boy 16. If you like the content on this channel, I want to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to click that bell for post notifications. Also, I got a website at www.16shotonvisuals.com. But that's enough of me talking. Let's get to what y'all came to see. So who would you say, like, your top five dead or alive from the city? Top five dead or alive? Yeah. I ain't really... I ain't really got one, I ain't gonna lie. Everybody doing their shit in their own way, you know? Yeah. Like everybody did their shit, everybody played a part, or what part they did play, you know, dead or alive, you know? Well, I, ain't, I ain't gonna say like top five, more so like, is there any people that like, like, I say you, you listen to more than others, or like, just like? I look, I be trying to listen to all type of shit just to hear what motherfuckers talking about, you know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Just to hear what motherfuckers talking about, like, what's the right, especially like the motherfuckers that's popping and shit now, just to like hear like what motherfuckers like. Like, then now, like, a lot of people like a lot of other shit, a lot of different artists who you would think, you know what I'm saying, won't even people want to be liking that shit. Yeah. But far from my city and shit, you know, everybody played their part and shit. But, you know, of course, Sosa, he started, he was the first one to me that started with this Jura shit, started rapping with this Jura shit. So do you feel like being from Chicago, it's hard to make it as a rapper if you're not on like no no gangster shit? Um, I won't necessarily say that shit. I, like I said, people be liking what they like shit, so you will never know, man. These motherfuckers you least suspect blow up and shit. So how does it feel for you to be like in LA, away from all that shit? I love it. I fuck with it out here. <clears throat> you know, anything way better than the trenches shit. Yeah. I still go back though, but you know, motherfucker, be out the way working and shit. Was it easy for you to adapt moving here? Um, I've been coming. I ain't gonna lie, back and forth since like 2014 and shit. So I've been loving this shit, fucking with it and shit. So it wasn't really too hard. So how was it when you first moved? Like, what you been back and forth? Like, did you have friends and shit out already? Um, yeah, I knew motherfuckers from out here already and shit. Cause like I said, I've been back and forth since 2014 shit, so it's motherfuckers I knew for a little minute. Yeah. That, that's from out here and shit. So you ever run into people who uh, might like spot you on the street type shit out, out this way, ask for pictures, things like that? Nah, yeah, for sure. On railroads and shit. On the strip, really if a motherfucker outside on the strip and if a motherfucker peepees, everybody don't really know I got dreads now. So, yeah. if a motherfucker know what's going on and peep me, they well, definitely. Ooh. So you know a lot of people they move this way for like opportunities and networking and shit like that. Mm -hmm. Like have you noticed that type of shit out here since you've been here? Like motherfuckers moving from my city out here to yeah. network and shit or just yeah, like as far as your own personal situation, like Oh uh, nah, yeah. Been in any situations that Nah yeah, of course, hell yeah. Definitely in our city and shit, you know, it's way better than up there. I ain't say you can't network and do what you do in the city either, but you know, it'd be way better. Out here, cause you know, business in like you know, industry motherfuckers will be out here, and it'll just be like better for them to link up with you out here than them come to Chicago and shit. You know, everybody don't want to come out there and shit. Yeah. Was there ever times where you just probably was outside, talk to a random person, and they end up being somebody that you you know you should have met type shit? Out here. Yeah. Um. Damn, I forget. I was. I don't know if it was true or not though, but I was <laughs> I was at the condo and shit, just chilling, coming down on the elevator or something. And it was a it was a guy on the elevator and shit. He told me he was somebody manager. I don't know. If he said Tory Lanez or somebody. I forgot. He said he was somebody manager and shit. And I don't know. I don't know if he was telling the truth or not. I ain't really get too deep into that shit though. But I'm like, damn. I just if that was him, I'm like, damn. I just bumped into you know, yeah. just on some chilling shit. Yeah, I be I be hearing a lot of shit like that happen, like you be in a grocery store, I'm nah, yeah. speak. Oh yeah, yeah, from this record label or anything. Mm -hmm. Nah, yeah, for sure, so. definitely. So, what'd you say like the number one thing you miss about Chicago? The food. Yeah, everybody said the same thing. And of course, my my people, my loved ones and shit, but the food, man, this shit. I love LA. I ain't go, you know. I love LA, but y'all ain't, ain't nobody got us on the food. Man. Yeah, that shit kind of tough. What's the spots you found out here that you fuck with on the food? In and out. And Boston Nova. 
Man, motherfucking. What's that, Chef Grizzly? Oh, yeah, that's I think that's it. That was, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 he, hey, I just heard that shit the other day. I ain't gonna lie. That shit a real hit. I was just gonna put you on there. You ain't nah, know. Nah, yeah. For yeah. sure, that shit a hit. I just, you see, I just had to ask folks, oh, you know about it too. Okay. Chef Grizzly, boy, I just got pit on that. That shit a hey, hit. I Macaroni. Throw us a free meal or something. It's a good promotion. No, you know what I'm saying? Lamb chops. Man, the juice is off them bitches, man. Oh, yeah. So I seen in a uh, an interview with corporate, uh, he had spoken a situation where you had got shot or something like that. Yeah. What was going on with that? Was it a music video shoot or a skit y'all was doing? Uh, well, I was doing a skit. Um, Black people be like, I think. Yeah.